Well, next here tonight, sit back, relax, and let technology take the wheel. Yeah, Waymo's self-driving cars are making their way to Florida. Over the next year, they're start to, they'll start to pop up in Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. But it's still a new technology, and our Blake Phillips is listening to how you feel about this kind of car. We're here at Tampa International Airport because Waymo is bringing self-driving cars to Tampa. So I'm going to ask people if they would even get in a car without a human driver. Would you get in a self-driving car? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why not? I'll let them get the technology, figure it out, and then I'll go another 10 years, maybe. Have you ever Ubered? Yeah. Okay, but so you trust like a real driver, you just pause at a self, like an AI driver? Yeah. Do you have thoughts on self-driving cars? No thoughts. No thoughts. Perfect. Oh, no, only no's so far. We're doing a story on self-driving cars coming to Tampa. I'd love to get your thoughts on if you would get in a self-driven car with no human driver. No. How would you feel about getting in a car without a human driver? Um probably wouldn't trust as much. And how would you feel about your daughter getting in a car? I probably would not trust it. Okay. I have a hard enough time what being able to be comfortable with her driving or less no driver at all. I just don't trust the robots. You don't trust the robots? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. Have you seen Terminator? No. No? You should watch Terminator because then you really won't trust the robots. Still need to find a, still need to find a yes. Would you get in a self-driving car? No. Is that something that you would ever try? No. I probably wouldn't trust as much. They look like this. So you've seen them? Yeah. Okay, where have you seen them at? California. California. Yeah. Yeah. Would you ever get in one? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Why? It would be nice to not have a driver and just take me wherever I want to go. It would be interesting to try. Sure. So okay. I'd, I'd go that far. Yeah. Okay. Just for the novelty of it. And Mayor Jane Castor telling me she thinks this is good for Tampa. That's sort of our Achilles heel right now is transportation. And if we, the more automated vehicles we have, the less congestion we'll have. But Waymo may lead to more competition, making things harder for locals in the transportation business. I guess I'd never say never, but I would be leery. I'm in a transportation business too, so that would that would probably put me out of business. If everybody <laughs> had that. What in your industry is self-driving cars something you guys are are wary about? Is something that may take away from opportunities for you? Sure, it would. Anytime you got some competition, it would you know take away. So while the wheels start to turn for Waymo here in Tampa, for many of these drivers, time will tell whether they actually decide to ride in these self-driven cars or not. For now, at Tampa International, I'm Blake Phillips, Tampa Bay 28.